These are the men who have won the world's strongest man crowns on more than three occasions. But Marius Pujanovsky, more than any of them, appears to have the potential to dominate the sport almost at will. The 2008 competition will go a long way in determining whether he is remembered as the greatest of all time. The latest venue provides a beautiful backdrop and enthusiastic crowds for Pujanovsky's record attempt. But resident Phil Pfister will be enjoying things win, lose or draw. You know, first and foremost, World's Strongest Man is just a fantastic television show. And it's, it's just an honor and a dream come true for my hometown, you know, my state that I've lived in my whole life. My family's lived here a couple of generations, so it's, it's very gratifying. It's, you know, it's a dream come true to have my hometown showcase, you know, it's, that's the biggest thing, really. 30 years, 19 countries and 17 champions after the very first contest at Universal Studios, the world's strongest man is in rude health. What started life as a light-hearted entertainment show has grown into a hugely successful international franchise, watched by millions and ferociously contested by the planet's strongest men. I am the Viking! Are you dumb, man? Yeah. Yeah. But what, if anything, has changed over the years? I don't think the, the brute strength is, is, is higher by any means today. I think all the champions have, have been really strong people. The difference is that the, the old guys came from other power sports into strongmen, and the most of the guys today think of strongmen from, from day one. Let's go! Come on, the eras may be different and the events have been tweaked, but three decades after the contest's inception, the prize is undeniably the same. The title, World's Strongest Man, is one of the most evocative there is. In the past, it was all about how strong a man was, um, or what he could achieve against somebody else. It goes back to the warring clans of Scotland, about challenging, you know, uh, in terms of fights and clan wars. People are still fascinated what men can achieve in a purest sense to actually be acclaimed of world's strongest man. But if these giants were to meet today in a one-off contest, who out of Bill Kazmaier, Jean-Paul Sigmundson, Magnus Vermagnusson and Marius Pujanovsky would prevail? If I was really gonna stick my neck out, I think Kaz would still be the man to beat if he was around today. David Webster sets them off and surprisingly, it's Kazmaier in the lead. I would have had a lot of fun with John Paul and his jovialness, I think all that would have been gone. Magnus Ver wouldn't have been able to figure out each event and how to beat the strong guys, and Marius and myself would have had a great battle. Uh, that's really a toss-up. I think I'm stronger than him. Man, can he run. It's half of a smile, half a grimace, and that...